Welcome to Mr. Arnold's book review of Dry to Dry, The Seasons of Kakadu, written by Pamela Freeman and illustrated by Liz Nelly. The book is a part of the Nature Story series, and it explores the exciting world of Kakadu National Park, along with the thousands of different birds, animals, and plants that live there in its demanding environment, where we follow how the seasons go from dry and humid to torrential monsoons in the wet, and back again to the dry. This explores the circle of life and how it goes round. Dry to Dry follows a poetic story with strong language features throughout the middle of the book in one text and font, and then down the bottom of the each page, a scientific and educational text with facts and figures about animals that live in Kakadu National Park, inviting the reader to further research it. Dry to Dry has a medium of pencil, watercolours, collage and paint scrapings to mimic textures of the plant or animal presented on the page. On these two pages, there is strong use of visual and language features. Freeman uses nouns with the red-tailed black cockatoos, adverbs, flocks noisily to their nighttime homes. And over here, personification, lightning and thunder, the first kiss of rain. Through salience, Anelli draws our attention to the flock and the tree on this page. And then over here, the lightning and thunder in the right-hand corner. Freeman uses onomatopoeia with crack, hiss, so that we can hear what is happening with the monsoon that is brewing. Another visual feature that Anelli uses is gaze. Through this child, looking up at the termite mound, inviting us to see how it is three times as high as a grown man. Another language feature uses metaphor. The wetlands are a carpet of water lilies. Angle is a visual feature used throughout the book. We can see here with the magpies building their nest in the tree, how high up it is. And then in contrast, later in the book, the crocodiles hunting. And you can see the angle low under the water showing us their bellies and the turtle's belly. Neutral colors such as brown, beige and white are used to present the dry to show us that the air is heavy, hot and humid. Primary colours such as the shades of green are used to present the wet season, showing us the growth that it brings and life to Kakadu. Dark colours such as blacks and greys are presented during the monsoon, showing us what it is like to be in a storm in Kakadu. Dry to Dry's narrative finishes with high modality words. For this is the dry now, Kakadu waits for the wet. It will come, as it always does. I think the wet's coming here. I better run. I'll see you next time.